Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. It's Monday. The weekend went like that. I mean, flew by. So, here to give you some updates. As you know, I did not post a video on yesterday, Sunday. Um, I don't even know what today's date is. Friday was the 21st, so Saturday was the 22nd. Okay, so today is July 24th, 2023. Got to say 2024. So yeah, um, they did not finish my apartment. And we have a moment of silence. They're almost done though. They're almost done. Almost. So, um, sorry that my hand is in the way. I'm trying to fix this, this up on this, you know, on my hanging uh, tripod thing. <clears throat> so, he didn't do anything Saturday and, and Sunday, which, you know, I kind of figured he would. I really wish he would have finished would have went in that Saturday and just knocked it on down so I could have got back in there <sighs> but anywho he did not finish um, painting so that's the last thing he has to do is paint is paint so he has all the drywall up um Everything is up. So, like I said, his the last thing he has to do is paint. And um, then I can get back in my apartment. So, um, you know, he moved really fast. He said he wants to get in there and put my sink in my bathroom and fix my fireplace. You know, when I'm filming, there's a fireplace behind me. You all see it. So that is starting to come apart from the wall. And he needs to put something in there to make it, you know, stand up so it's not, um, you know. This person in front of me cannot drive. That's all I'm gonna say. So y'all, I found the house right over here on this block yesterday. back and look at that house I'm gonna call my real the realtor that I'm working with and ask him if he can let me get a tour I would like to see the inside of it, it looks like it's been renovated but um Christopher and I went to look at that house yesterday we just drove past I just wanted to interject that I'm still house hunting so anywho <coughs> anywho um he should be done today. He should, he's gonna paint today, paint everything, and we should be good to go. So, I am so glad that it's coming along and I can get back in my place. Mama's been good, you know, allowing me to lay on her couch, but it ain't nothing like your own bed your own space it's just not but I'm grateful and I'm thankful you know oh this person is from Iowa mm. she can't drive y'all that's all I'm gonna tell you she cannot drive So, like I said, I'm really glad that um, that he's almost done. Thank God. Um, 
so that's the update with the apartment so as i said hopefully i'll be back in there i can sleep in my bed tonight or tomorrow one of the two the second thing is is that we are getting ready to get hit with some heat um chicago is getting ready to be um like arizona uh, but the only thing different is with us in Arizona is that we're going to get a reprieve, meaning that by the weekend, we're supposed to cool, it's supposed to cool down, but we're going to get, um, 80, uh, high nineties. I think either Tuesday or Wednesday, it's going to be close to a hundred with the humidity, it's going to feel like it's about 100 degrees. I, I just don't understand. I just, I do not get why people drive this slow. Anywho, um, yeah, we, so we're supposed to be getting hit with some really high um, 90s. I think either Wednesday or Thursday of this week, it's going to be close to 100 or near 100. And the humidity is going to really make it feel hot. Um, we had last summer, we had a really hot summer as well. So, you know, it's not like we're not used to the heat, but I don't know what cities you guys live in. Um, but all over the country, it just seemed like it's just a scorcher. You know, like it's just really, really hot everywhere. Las Vegas, Phoenix, Phoenix, California. Um, it's hot. And, you know, this has to do with, you know, of course, you know, the climate change, you know, that they're talking about. But um, we're getting ready to get it. So I don't know where you, if you guys are looking at this video, let me know where you're from, what city. Because I know even, even, even over in Greece, it's supposed to be really hot. It's, thank you, Jesus, she turned it. Thank you. Lord, you know you answer prayer. Thank you. My Lord. Anywho. Um, so let me know in the comment section where you from. What's the temperature like? I know it's hot in Texas. Um, Nick Technics uh, is from Texas and um, she's talking about how hot it is. I don't know. I haven't they may have cooled down. I haven't heard a lot about, excuse me, about Texas. But that's the other thing. And so the, the last, the third thing is I told you guys that I have to have this stupid hearing on tomorrow. And I say that it's stupid because I've done nothing wrong. But I got all my stuff and... Um, you know, I'll be glad when that is over with because that has just been aggravating. It's just been aggravating. I did nothing wrong. I wasn't even at work. You know, I did nothing wrong. I don't know how Workman's Comp found that I had a YouTube channel. And I really don't give a flying fuck either because I told my physical therapist both that I, was, that I had a YouTube channel and that I would walk around. And if I can walk around pushing a slate and walk around in therapy, I certainly can walk around the YouTube channel. And I have said this on this channel numerous, 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 numerous times to you guys that I had a foot injury. You all have heard me mention it. You all heard me mention it when I've done the fashion videos. You all have heard me mention it. So, you know, with that being said, you know, I wasn't on those ski slopes, slope sliding down, uh, the Everglades. I wasn't, you know, 
jumping rope. I wasn't whatever. You know, that was even, you know, and I told my therapist that I had a YouTube channel and I was doing video. And, you know, he was like, well, yeah, he was like, you need to get, you know, you strengthen your foot. So, I mean, I had to walk and I'm going to go and I'm going to find all the emails of me telling her how she didn't, um, you know, how she didn't pay me. You know, I'm going to bring that up, you know. I, I got I got all my paperwork together. I got all of it. All of it is on my phone. So whatever they want to bring, bring it because I'm I'm ready. You know. Uh, but that's been aggravating and very very you know tasking. You know to deal with that. Um, and I just hope and pray that you know they get on with the get on and leave me alone. And and that's it. So, um, oh, and I wanted to tell you, I remember, I, okay, so I don't know if I, I mentioned, came back on here and told you all or not, but um, I did mention it to you all, but I don't think I came back and told you all that she called me again. So remember I told you all that my neighbor below me, she called me. And she was asking me, what were they doing down in my apartment? Up in my apartment, I should say. And you remember I told her, you know, what they were doing. And, you know, she's calling me, you know, like, I can do something about it or whatever. But anyway, do you know she called me again? Mm hmm she called me again. So... This had to be, let me see, today is Monday, so she must have called Thursday, and, and she called me Monday, then she turned around and she called me again on Thursday, to ask me, what were the, so when she called on Thursday, she said, hey, um, are you at home? Bitch, you know I'm not at home. You don't see my car out there, so you know that I'm not at home. You know that I work. So I said, no. What's up? And I guess she, and, and, and as the conversation went on, she heard it in my voice. Because by now I'm irritated. Because what in the fuck do you want me to do, lady? What do you want me to do? I have no control over how much noise he making, what he doing. The goddamn ceiling got to get done, okay? Because you, you're not inconvenienced. I am, okay? So, she says, ah, oh, yeah, because she said, girl, he is making up that making noise. My, he dragging something across the floor. What is he doing? And then I said, I don't know. I said, I'm at work. Like, get off my fucking phone. I'm at work. So then she says to me, well, how much longer you think, he, how, when, you, when do you think, it, is he going to be done? I said, why don't you call and ask Willie? That's our landlord. I said, why don't you call and ask him when he'll be done? I said, I don't know. So now she heard it in my voice. I said, I am at work, Pearl. I'm at work. I said, but you keep calling me as if I can do something. Oh, uh, no. Uh-huh. No, girl, I was just calling to make jokes. No, bitch, you ain't calling to make jokes. You're not calling to make jokes. You irritating the F out of me. Because I'm on my job. I'm working. And I'm out there picking up these, picking up calls, and she calls me. What the fuck do you want? What do you want? What do you want? You're retired. Okay, he woke you up. Okay. I mean, how about he dragging stuff across the floor? I mean, how long is he going to be? Oh, he just making so much noise. And what is he doing? And I said, call him. I said, call him and ask him. I said, stop, I said, stop calling me. And that's exactly how I said it to him. Stop calling me and asking me. If it was my 
own home or a two flat and you lived up under me and that was going on. What you calling me for? Why are you calling me? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? So, let me tell you the story about her. I told you I was going to tell you the story about her. So, it's a little story time. So, when I was pregnant with Christopher, I had to be about seven months pregnant. Prior to me getting pregnant, she and I, we were pretty good friends. We would go walking here on the lakefront and, you know... We would talk on the phone. I would send her all kinds of, uh, you know, funny emails, this, this, that, and the third. So one night, she called me. And she said, hey, I'm like, hey, what's going on, blah, 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 blah. She said, how you feeling? I said, I'm feeling okay. She said, yeah, I'll be hearing you getting up in the middle of the night. And, um, you know, I'm right downstairs if you need anything. And so she always, you know, she told me that when I got pregnant. You need anything, I'm here. So she called and we were just having a normal conversation. So in the midst of the conversation, my girlfriend said this this uh, seabell be looking like it's choking me. <laughs> so in the midst of the conversation, she says to, to me, you know what I've been meaning to ask you? She said, I've been meaning to ask you, what you gonna name um, the baby? I said, oh, I said, I'm gonna name him um, Christopher Curtis. Now, Curtis was my dad's first name. So she was like, oh, I like that. She said, what you gonna name, what's his last name gonna be? So without telling y'all what my last name is, I think some of y'all already know. So, I told her what the baby's last name was going to be, but it wasn't going to be sperm donor's last name, right? So she she gets quiet and she goes, you're not going to name him after his daddy? No. She was like, why are you not going to name him after his, um, after, his, after his dad? I said, because I'm not married to his dad. I said, and his that I was pregnant. I said, you mean the sperm donor? So then she started laughing and so she was like, that ain't right. You know, uh, Shreel, that's just not right. You need to get that baby his uh, his daddy last name. I mean, that's his daddy. I said, Pearl, this is what Christopher's name will be. And that's it. Well, you wrong. Now she mad. Cause, cause Keisha, I think that's her daughter name, because when Keisha got uh, pregnant, she named that name, uh, whatever the grandson's name is, he a big boy now, she named, she named him after his daddy, and I mean, regardless of what y'all go through, or went through, Blase, Skippy, Woo Woo, you should name that baby after his daddy, and you wrong, you wrong, you just wrong, and then she went on telling me, what kind of mother are you? So 
know, she went on and on and on and on. So I said, I'm gonna say this to you again. I'm gonna say, you need to mind your business. I said, because you have stepped over the line. I said, I don't need your opinion, nor did I ask you for your opinion. I said, so mind your business. So, we had some more words, and I told her, good night. Click. We did not speak to each other for maybe five years after that, six years after that. But she made my life a living hell after I gave birth to Christopher. So when Christopher was about two, three, four, five, somewhere around there, yet much maybe younger than five, she would get on the ceiling as if he was making noise. If he walked to her, she was complaining. This one might get it got darker. She was she was complaining. If he oh there it goes a bit lighter now. If he ran, if he bounced a ball, if he did whatever, she was calling my landlord. Hush, is he making too much noise? He making too much It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. So my landlord was caught in the middle of the bullshit. So I finally told my landlord, I said, listen, this don't have nothing to do with Christopher. I said, this has everything to do with she and I. And I said, she's angry at me. And I told my landlord the story. And she was like, well, why would she say, listen, she said, I know how she is. She said, she's been here a long, long time, but I know her. She said, well, why would she get in your business like that? She was like, that ain't got nothing to do with her. So, this went on and on and on and on. So then she would lie on me and say that, that you know, Christopher was making all this noise. She told my landlord, I just think she don't like me. I think she hates me because it seemed like to me she do this on purpose. So my landlord said, listen, I, I can go up there and put some padding under her carpet. She was like, but that's a baby. She was like, what you want her to do? Tie to the to the to the couch? She can't, he gotta get up, he gotta move, he gotta walk, he gotta play. So we would come out of the apartment, we would see her, I would open up my mouth, she would open up her mouth. Like I said, this went on for the longest. So one day, Christopher was bouncing his ball. I told him glass, stop. He had like a little basketball hole. She came up there. And she said to her and her daughter were sick with the flu. She was like, and I'm just asking you, can you just have him not bounce the ball so hard? I know he got to play. Blah, blah, blah. Now, this is after she had went on and 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 on. So Christopher was standing there and he said, he just was standing there. He didn't say nothing. So I said, Chris, don't bounce this ball. Don't hold yourself. Okay. He might have been five or six years old. The next day, we were coming out of the apartment, and we were coming down the steps, and she was coming out of her apartment. And Christopher came, went down. He went. He would. He would always go down before me. So he was on his way down, and she was going in her apartment. And Christopher said to her, "He said, excuse me, excuse me." So she turned around and looked at him, and he said. I don't know why this camera darkened down, but it did for some reason. It looks really dark. But anyway, he said, um, oh, hang on, let me get in front of you. Travel like this man, too. He said, excuse me. He said, um, I just, I wanted to come and, um, uh, he said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bouncing a ball. And for, um, uh, I didn't tell him to do this. He did this on his own. I'm sorry for bouncing the ball, and I hope you and your daughter are feeling better. I'm sorry. And so she looked at him, and so, girl, 
she had tears in her eyes. From that moment on, she and I have been speaking. And so she was telling me, I had saw her about two weeks ago. She was like, um, she was like, oh, we should um we should go walking after work. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. <laughs> I ain't doing that. When I come home from work, I want to sit down. Why is it so dark? Ain't it dark? This camera is really dark. But anyway, um, so yeah, so that's how that happened. And so ever since then, you know, she now it's lighting it back up. It's weird ass phone. But ever since then, we we speak to each other. And you know we've been good, but she gonna make me go off again about this goddamn apartment. Don't keep calling me, you know. So um, I don't want to start that back up with her, you know. One thing my my landlord told me, um, the la my land my my the landlord I have now is my landlord's son. My original landlord, she's going to be 91 next month in August. She's going to be 91. And I would really like to go over there and see her. I have not seen, I've seen her three times since COVID. She lives across the street from the, our building. But I haven't seen her. She's had some health issues, you know. But I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to get her some. I'm going to, I don't know when her birthday is. I got to find out from, from her son. I'm gonna take us some flowers in the car, and um, on her birthday, she has really been good to me, and that's another reason why I stayed so long. But one thing my my landlord taught me, she said, "Don't become friends with your neighbors." She said, "Cause when you fall out, then it it becomes awkward." She said. Speak to your neighbors. You know, say hello to your, you know, come out and be able to uh, wave at them and keep it moving. And that's so true. So I had to learn that. Okay, y'all. Let me go see if my hand works. I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. We're going to find out why this dog on camera so dark. Okay, it worked. It still ain't working right, but it worked. So they came and they uh, rescanned our hands because we have to punch a time clock. And this thing still act like it don't want to work half of the time. But anyway, 
so yeah so um that's what happened with her i'm trying to see if i can park back here under this tree this show gonna be hot today So yeah, so that's how she and I started back talking. It was only because of that, because of that reason. Because if it hadn't been for Christopher, we still probably would not have, probably still would not be talking. But she is something else. She's a piece of work. That's all I can tell you, piece of work. Like, if you call me one more time about this silly shit. And I told her what they were doing. I said, he got to tear the ceiling out. It was a leak. What do you want? I mean, if he don't fix the ceiling, it's going to, you right below me. So it's going to affect you too. You going to have water in your apartment. Like, just stop calling me. You know what I'm saying? Just stop calling me. What you want me to do? Anywho, so that's the, that's the story that I wanted to tell you all about her and, you know, and how she, you know, um, she just made my life live in hell. You know, like I said, with the whole, um, with, with Christopher, you know, being a baby and her acting like he was making so much noise and she just got on my landlord's nerve and it, it was just, it, it was, it was just unnecessary unnecessary drama put it to you like that just unnecessary people you know they be mad at you about something they be mad at you they really not the thing that they that they mad at you about oh, i guess i got makeup on it already the thing that they be um the thing that they be mad at you about is not what they be mad at you about. It's usually something else that they mad at you about. And that's clearly what it was. She was mad at me because I told her to her business about what I was naming my child. You ain't got nothing to do with this. And guess what? My ch Chris forgot my last name to this day. And I did that for a reason. Because what I knew was that this was a man who was not going to take care of his child, which he didn't. He wasn't going to provide life insurance, health insurance, nothing to that nature. Um, I knew that um, this was a man that um, wasn't going to be a father. You know, that's what I knew, you know, based on how he was, what he, the things that he was doing. I wanted Christopher to have my last name because I was going to be the primary provider. And I have been the primary pro provider since he's been in the world. So that's how that went. And that's how it go. And, you know, some of you all watching this video might agree with her that I should have named him his last name. I don't really care. Because like I said, I'm the one taking care of him. Ain't nobody taking care of him. I'm taking care of him. Me. So he got my last name. I'm not married to him. Thank you, Jesus. Um... Um, so if he had been a different type of man, different type of father, I would have given, um, I would have given Chris his last name. I would have, you know, totally, you know, um, hmm. what that was about. I would have totally honored and respected him. You know what I'm saying? Um, but not even respected, but just gave him that honor. 
but he don't deserve that. He don't deserve it. He still don't deserve it. So I wasn't naming him him his name. Originally, his he I was gonna name give him his give him, it was gonna be his name is Anthony. I was gonna name him Anthony Curtis and his last name. But I'm glad I did what I did, and I have no regrets in life. When you do things to do things, and you have no regrets, you know that you did the right thing. Christopher told me, he said, I'm glad that I don't have his last name. He said, I'm glad. He said, because that would be a constant reminder to me that he's not around. What do I look like giving a child a man's last name that is not present in his life? You're not present. So why should he be attached to a, just a name and he's not attached to your presence? That don't make sense to me. Now, I know women give their children uh, the father's last name because the circumstances are different. Either you were married to him and you're now divorced or either he something happened to him he might be deceased or you all are not together as a couple but he's a present father in that child's life. Big difference. I don't judge nobody for doing that, okay? I don't judge anybody for giving their child the father's last name and they're and, and they no longer together but you know that man and you know who what that man is going to do but why should christopher be attached to a name when he ain't even attached to the human being the human being never says happy birthday the human being never recognizes him on his birthday christmas when he graduated from eighth grade you have not been present and you refuse to be present because you mad at me because I don't want you. So you, you're going to make Christopher suffer because I don't want you? That's some stupid ass shit. That's like making me me suffer. Make That's like me making Christopher suffer for the shit that he has done to me. Christopher ain't got nothing to do with that. This is a child that you should have been involved with. Whether me and you like each other, hate each other, whatever. And men who make excuses for being deadbeat ass fathers aren't shit and if you're looking at this video and you a deadbeat ass father you ain't shit and if you a deadbeat ass mama you ain't shit my mother or father you don't take care of your kid you're not present in your kid's life you're not a parent you ain't shit and i'm not gonna bite my tongue on that because there's some fathers, some single fathers out here taking care of children and the mama is on drugs or she out here uh, doing any and everything. You ain't shit. I don't want to care. I don't want to hear about you got an addiction. I don't want to hear about you got a present felony. I don't want to hear about, oh, whoa, me. Fuck you. And I mean that. That's how I feel. So don't ask me to give somebody, give a kid your name and you're not in the child's life. That's stupid as hell to me. So I knew what I was doing and I'm glad I did what I did because Christopher is all mine, all mine. I do it all. I've been doing it all since I, before I had him and I'm still doing it and I'm going to continue to do it. When he grown or whatever happened in his life, I'm going to always be there until God says it's time to take me home. So I don't have no regrets about nothing that I did. You know, you don't even call him on his birthday. What kind of bullshit is that? Okay, you don't do nothing for Christmas, but his birthday? But you can put it on Facebook? Did it show son's birthday? Fuck out of here. Anyway, y'all, it's Monday. But I wanted to tell y'all that little story. But um, I hope he gets done. Because I don't want her calling me no more. And um, I want to get back in my apartment. I want to get back in my bed. I want to get back to my cats. Um, I've been going up there every day. Making sure that they were eating. And cleaning their litter box. And cleaning up. And sweeping and mopping. I just want to get back in my place. You know. I just really, really do. Um, so that's it. And then, like I said, as far as the hearing tomorrow, I would be glad when that's over with. So, 
I'll keep y'all posted. I'm aggravated about that. But you know what? Whatever. That's how I'm that's how I'm feeling about that. You know, uh, of course I don't need to um you know lose my job or be suspended over some bullshit because that's what it is when I was investigated about it before because I didn't report because the whole thing is that I didn't report that I'm getting a second income. Well, why would I report it? I wasn't here. I wasn't here. And when I did report it, and when I did report it, um, you know, I did that. I did what I was supposed to do. So it just it's just all stupid as hell. It just don't make no sense. I see everybody walking with their coolers and their water because it's going to be a hot one today, too. I think it's going to be 90 today. I think. But anywho. So, I'll be glad when that dumb shit is over with. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just irritated all the way around. You know how you just be irritated all the way around? It's irritated. I was going to come on live yesterday, y'all, and talk to y'all. I just didn't feel like it. I ain't gonna even lie. I just didn't. But um, I'm gonna do a live video real soon. So I'll let you all know so you all can tune in to that. And thank you guys again for looking at the last, that lingerie video. It's up to 14,000 views now. Um, and so I'm gonna do an encore to that. I got some stuff coming for that. Okay? Alright, y'all. Have a good Monday. And wherever you are, make sure you're drinking plenty of water because it's going to be hot. And stay cool all the way around. Alright? Bye. See you in the next video. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.